Hi there, this is Jo Marie Domino and I am hanging out with my friends from Vippy's Designs. They have just added a whole bunch of new napkins into their napkin shop, www.vippies.com. They have also added some beautiful new vintage napkins, but these are from many years ago. I'm also going to show you some projects and how you can add their little calendar pads to your decoupage projects. I'm going to start out with this little pile of napkins. Now they have many, many hundreds of napkins. So this is kind of just a sampling. So to see everything they have, go to their website, www.vippies.com. All right, so see, these are some of their smaller napkins that they just put in. Love the buffalo print. That's always very, very popular. Beautiful sunflowers with some bees. Uh, what are some of the projects you can do with napkins of this size? I think little mini signs. Coasters are so popular. How about a little tin can or a jar? Those are both really good projects for you to start with, especially if you're just learning how to decoupage. Remember, my YouTube channel is filled with videos that will show you how to decoupage. Most of them are for beginners. Decoupage DIY with Jo Marie Domino. All right, so as you can see, a lot of these are floral. Florals are very, very popular um, with decoupagers. I love this napkin with the apples. That would look so cute on a little cutting board in the kitchen. And if you love boho, that napkin is absolutely perfect. Now, these next few napkins, they're black. And I'm looking at them, I'm thinking, boy, what can you do with these napkins? And I think they would look so good on bottles and uh, jars as well. Now, this napkin kind of caught me by surprise. I didn't realize until I opened it all the way up that this print actually goes all the way across the napkin, okay? That makes it a, what they call a panoramic napkin as none of the print is cut off. Really, really pretty. Sunflowers, again, very, very popular. So Vippies has brought in a ton of them. So if you're looking to do some projects with sunflowers, definitely go take a look at what they have. In addition to florals, they also have things like fruits and vegetables. This one is so pretty. It's got berries on it and strawberries. And look, the print goes all the way across. Nothing is cut off on the fold. Here's some more for gardening. I love this because it looks like an end of the summer harvest when we go out there and we start reaping the benefits of hard work in our gardens. I love it. And again, that one, although upside down to each other, has nothing cut off on the fold. Now, speaking of boho, again, I think this one is absolutely perfect for those kinds of projects. And once again, love this. The print goes all the way across. Nothing is cut off. Now I'm gonna get into some of their longer napkins. I love these. You can use them for bigger projects and again, Sunflower is very popular, so they have made sure to add many of them into their lineup. Now, I do have some project ideas and DIYs that I'm going to show you uh, throughout this video. So I'm going to put off showing you any more napkins. I'm going to get right into a DIY idea. Okay, I'm on to my first idea on what you could use these napkins for. This is also a new product from Vippy's Designs. It is these round flats. You can create little signs with them and they're a nice thickness, so they're good to work with. So I used this napkin and I created this little sign. I'm gonna show it to you using one of their new rounds. I'm gonna hold it up. I want you to look at that finish, that crackle. It gives the sign so much age. I have a video that can show you how to do it. You don't need any type of special supplies. Believe me, everything you need, you already have. I've got a great video on that. I'm gonna link it below so that you can give it a try as well. I think you're gonna love it and you're gonna love creating these little signs with your napkins. These are another fun product from Vippy's Designs. There are these little mini calendar pads. On the back, there's a strip that you peel off and it's sticky, so it's so easy to add them to your crafting projects. Um, each, um, each month has its own page, so they are a pad and you can tear each off very easily, but they do stay together. They come in three different sizes. So now, if you're wondering what to do with them, how to add them onto your projects, I'm going to show you right now. I took a wood blank, a plank they call them, from the Dollar Tree, and I decoupaged it. 
And it was so easy for me to just add a calendar. I peel off the back, it's self stick, and I just press it down. And now I have a little sign that you can hang up, give as a gift, and it's got a little calendar on it. Here's one that I made last year and I used a napkin from Vippy's Designs. There's the napkin and that's actually done on a coaster. And I'm going to hold it up and show you that this is for December of 2023 and we are going into the new year. So what? I've got a new year pad, 2024. I'm going to peel off the back. Now I can just place it right down on top of of the little calendar sign I made last year. How cute is that? So you can update them. Here's another one, and these are done on bookmarks, okay? Vippies carries bookmarks as well. Here is the napkin that I used, very cute nautical, and it fit actually three panels, or three little squares fit perfect on the little bookmark. Now they have this small size calendar pad. Again, you just peel that little strip in the back. It's self-stick. You press it down and now you have a little bookmark that also has a calendar on it. I love making bookmarks. I usually make a ton of them and give them out because it's so useful. Actually, it's useful to hold a page in a book and it's also uh, useful because it has a calendar on it. So this particular bookmark, I did in a beautiful red and white napkin and so easy to put down a little calendar like that. Vippy's Designs has their own Facebook page as well. Go there and follow them and you will see a lot of their projects, their newest napkins. And those of you who hang out with me on my Facebook page, head over there as well so you can see napkins as soon as they come out. Although I usually make an announcement on my Facebook page as well. So this is a calendar I made last year, a little cutting board. But look, if you make something like this and you give it as a gift, the next year, give the person you gave this to a little calendar. They can just peel off the back, that's sticky, and put it right on top of where the other calendar was. So they'll be able to continue to use your gift every single year. Okay, I'm going to real quick show you how easy it is to make this. I took a little cutting board I got from Aldi's and I gave it a couple coats of white paint and then I went ahead and added red paint. I did it to the sides. I put down a piece of painter's tape and I also painted the bottom red. The next thing I did was prepare a napkin on the front. So I used one quarter of a panel of napkin. I separated so I just had the top ply. I did a water tear and then I was able to line it up right above that red line took a little bit of Mod Podge just like that and I put my little piece of napkin down right on top. When I was done doing that, I let everything dry. I added some florals on the top and real quick, I peeled off the back and I was able to add a little calendar pad. Perfect gift. Don't go nowhere because I have more new napkins to show you, but I also want to show you a few more projects. I have a video on this where I show you how you can decoupage right onto burlap, and I'm going to give you the link below. On one of my other DIY videos, I used fabric Mod Podge and paper napkins, and I put them on these little canvas zipper pouches. This video was so popular because they're not difficult to make. Even beginners can make them. I used a beautiful napkin from Vippy's Designs and when I do videos, I take you step by step. I want you to be able to make these right away and these are so practical, right? You can put all the things you need, you know, like bottles of Mod Podge, right into your little zipper bag. So since I take you step by step, after you make some small ones, you can go ahead and make larger zip pouches too. My sister put in an order. She says, I need a little zipper pouch that I could put into my beach tote. So I made this for her and I added a lot of glitter. So much fun making these. These are my last group of napkins from Vippy's Designs. You believe I'm almost done? Okay, this group of napkins are authentic vintage napkins, meaning they're from 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago. So they're very limited. And once they're gone, Vippy's is not going to be getting any more in. So I'm going to try to describe these to you the best that I can. These two little birds, and there's um, another one coming up, they both come from the Metropolitan Museum of Art 
What that means is this was actually hanging in their gallery and then they put it onto napkins and you can use this napkin on your decoupage project. So that's the one with the birds. And another one also from the Metropolitan Museum of Art has these beautiful butterflies. I'm gonna open it up and you can see on this particular napkin, three panels are printed. They're very pretty on um, their three ply napkins and they would be absolutely perfect if you're looking to do really unique projects because you can't get those anymore. Now, this next group of napkins, also extraordinary. I love these. They are like a silky paper. Um, it's really hard almost to describe it. I have used these in decoupage already. I like to test them out and they are, look at that, they're so sheer. When you decoupage with these, look at that, you can see right through them. These images of that's on this napkin just melt right into a project that you're doing and the edges completely disappear. Such beautiful napkins. Here's another one, it's made of the same silky material. It is paper, but it is silky and it has like little fibers run in it and they're also single ply so you don't have to worry about the plies behind it and again this particular one is huge look at all of those roses and i would say this has a mid-century vibe to it so i'm thinking it probably came from the 50s the 1950s and again it's big so you can use it for lots of projects now these again they're very limited, so when you see them, if you like them, you want to grab them right away because once they're gone, they're not going to get them back anymore. Now, even though these are older napkins, 40, 50, 60 years ago, please keep in mind that they may still be under copyright protection. I just want you to know that. I was so excited to make this video for you. I couldn't wait to share some of Vippy's newest napkins www.vippies.com you can visit their napkin shop they have hundreds and hundreds more and they're always adding they also have some new products they just added this is one of them they are blank wood rounds that's what i use to create this sign and if you like that crackle i've got a video for that on my youtube channel they are very proud of their category of vintage napkins. These are authentic vintage napkins, meaning they are from 40, 50, 60 years ago. If you like them, grab them because once they're gone, Vippies is not going to be able to get these back into stock. Another one of their very popular um, products is their little calendar pads. They have been selling them for years and years. They are so much fun to um, craft with. You can add them to your decoupage projects. You can see they're self-stick. They're so easy to work with. These make such great gifts. Go to Vippy's Designs Facebook page as well. Follow them and you will see all of their newest napkins and their newest crafting supplies. And remember, go to my Facebook page too. Like and follow me there. I show you lots of Vippy's new things. And don't forget, my YouTube channel is filled with videos meant just for beginners. I take you step by step decoupage DIY with Joe Marie Domino. Give me a thumbs up, share, and hit the bell for video notifications.